Hi everybody, we are here with Charlie Patterson, one of our students in the print studio, and Charlie has this really great lithograph that he's sending out to a show. Where's the show? Indiana. Indiana. So we have to get it matted and framed, and so it's a pretty large uh, print, and we're going to mat and frame from scratch, but we're also going to build a frame. So. I would recommend if you're matting and framing anything to have, first of all, your image, and you need to measure your image. When you measure your image, you wanna make sure that you have room for your signature in about a quarter inch on either, on all dimensions. So a uh, quarter inch to half an inch, sometimes even an inch on all sides. So whatever you wanna do, like you, you just wanna make sure that you have room for the mat to come over the edges of the paper. Uh, there's other types of matting where you float your image on a backboard, um, but that's a little bit less common. You usually only do that if you have to. And so there's a, there's a variety of techniques, but we're doing the most standard type of technique for this print, I, I think. So get your measurements first, and then make sure that you have the proper amount of mat board if you are working oversized, you might need to order oversized mat board from some place like, um, uh, there's a few locations that you might be able to find it. I'm not sure if Dick Blick has it though. Uh, let's see, you're gonna need plexiglass. You can get that at the hardware store. I would recommend not having them cut it there at the store because we wanna cut it to the frame after the frame's been cut. And then you have some foam board and uh, all of these materials should be archival. You want 100% cotton or linen and um, your standard mat board and foam board will over time uh, leach acid into your print and damage your, your image. So uh, that's where we're going to start here and we're going to get the dimensions. So let's see. How big of a border do you want on yours, do you think? Um, you have an irregular edge here. Yeah. And it's irregular here. So I would go from the widest points. Okay. Like, what do you think? Are you thinking a half inch? I want, or as, do you big, want a little a, bit as big a border as uh, the amount of what I have will allow. Okay. All right. So let's do, let's make a range then. Let's And let's try to use whole numbers. Okay. It'll just be easier. You know, if we start using half numbers, it gets a little bit harder totally. when we're dealing with the cutting the frame. Um, so I would say let's stick with, let's do 19. That's pretty healthy, right? Yeah. I think that's good. So 19 by, and that gives us about an inch. Now if I'm measuring from here, that's about 22, but we need to measure from here. So that's about... Probably gonna have to go 24. Okay. Does that look okay? Yeah. You see where I'm measuring? Yep. Okay. Okay. So 19 by 24. Okay, so the image is the window that we're gonna cut in the mat is gonna be 19 by 24. And let's just do a little drawing here. Just so we can illustrate that. And are you, are you, did you want to shoot for three or four inch borders? Um, I don't know how much the wood will give us, so okay. whatever you think, if you're Okay, so we'll, we'll have to base it off of what we can get off the wood. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do a standard, what I would do normally. So let's do, add six inches, for three inches on the top, three inches on the bottom, three inches on the sides, and let's add six here. And then if we have extra room on the on the lumber, then we can up the size of this. Okay. So that gives us a three inch border. Oh, and the lumber is actually more than 25. My dad always extra. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay, so the mat is gonna be twenty five by thirty. Is that big enough? Yeah. Okay. Mat board standardized size is forty by sixty. Oh, okay. So that's plenty. Or wait, oh, 40, 32 by 40? That sounds more right. Yeah, I think it's 32 by 40. 
So it could be at like five feet. Yeah. So this is the size of the image, the size of the mat, and it's also going to be the size of the interior of the frame. Okay. So we'll have our image here. And we'll have three, 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 three. So that's what we're looking at right here. Three inch mat all around. Okay, so we're not gonna cut that right now. We're gonna go check the lumber.